How's it going? It's me, but this time with glasses on, and I, I can't wait to look at the comments and see who you guys are comparing me to, because apparently I look like Jesse from Breaking Bad and the kid from Up and numerous other random people I've never heard of. So now that I have glasses and a beanie on, maybe you guys can switch it up. But regardless, today's video I'm really excited about. I'm going to try this. Maybe it'll be a series depending if you guys like it, but rendering out and doing designs with popular logos. Today we're going to be using the Xbox and PlayStation because there's a lot of buzz around that and people are talking about the new uh, consoles coming out and it's really cool. So we're going to head on straight into the Xbox logo. So we got that Xbox SVG, and if you've never heard of an SVG, it pretty much stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Those are the type of output graphics that come from things like Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator. So they're math-based, they're super scalable, and all that fun stuff. We're going to just, so we're just going to turn him into a neon sign. So I'll turn that to none, and we'll go get a little bit of depth here. So something like that, fun little neon sign. So he's right here in the center. We're going to go and get a plane and I'm going to just scale him up to a nice size. And then I'm going to go with one of my favorite things to do and set up my composition in a orthographic manner. So I got up my uh, where I want the camera to be pointed and then we can go from perspective to orthographic and then we can play with the orthographic scale. So I want a bunch of tentacles coming through. I think that would be really cool to make some of these wires like neon green and a couple of them like metallic and stuff like that. I think it'd be super, super cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to get here a curve right here. So make that a circle curve and we're going to scale him out to say something like that. I want it to be outside of the lens and then we'll do that and then we'll go ahead and give it some extrusion and we will convert that to a mesh. Through, we're going to go ahead and make this a particle system, give it hair, and I don't like how the hair is pointing out. It needs to come in. So we're going to get our trusty dusty, um, let's get these force fields. We'll get the force and give it a negative value to pull them in. And that's sort of the goal there. And then we can get another one right here. So we'll get another force field, make it turbulence to give these guys a little bit of life. And then we have to go through and actually make these guys kind of in a way make them high poly, even though it's not really geometry we're playing with just yet. So that's done right here in a strand step. So I like that on eight. We also need to make that the render as well, make that eight. So now these guys are nice and smooth and fun. So we can bring them in now. So we'll go back here to the hair particle settings. So we'll bring that hair length in. So these guys are kind of attacking the logo, kind of in that way. And then we'll bring this plane down a little bit to reveal a couple more of the wires. And then if we go here to the cycles preview here to see how it looks, we're gonna be using cycles because what's really cool about hair in cycles is it kind of comes down to this point by default and it looks really cool. I'm already thinking of like Skrillex album covers and stuff for this, so that'd be super fun if we can kind of convert that to that. It's all this stuff we're doing here is very changeable. So I'm gonna give this like a, a, a brightness of 35 and then here we go, we're already getting some fun stuff. Let's make this bottom plane, nice metallic and very dark material and do the same thing, but these wires need to actually have a special material with them. So we're gonna go to the shading and we're going to go ahead and sort of mix this up. So we're going to get a mix shader. We'll get in our emission node here, make it that classic Xbox green. Plug that there and give it like a strength of like 15 for now. Now let's go ahead and do something fun with it. So we'll get a color ramp and switch that from linear to constant so we can get that hard edge because we're going to get a hair um, so H-A-I-R, hair info node, and use randomness. And what that's going to do is apply this, these two guys randomly throughout and using this hard edge, we can just pick a couple of these strands to actually be emissive. So now we have a really, really cool scene here. And then we have this really nice metallic material on the, the rest of the strands. And that's super, super cool, but it's not lit up at all. So let's get some lighting going on in here. So shift A, we're gonna get that light. So bring that over here, hitting G, and then we're gonna hit R twice here. And he's pointing there. We're gonna go here to the render view and then make him just a little bit blue. That'll give it a really nice cinematic look. So make that a nice strong light. We'll give it maybe like 2000. That looks really good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this guy, bring him over here and then we'll bring him down to 1,000, half the strength, so we get this really nice uh, view here. Now, what I want to do is add some ambience to this, and the best way when I'm working to do that is add some volume. So I'm going to get in our object to add volume. So volume object, 
we'll give it a principled volume here. So principled volume, put that into the volume and give it 0.1 on the strength, maybe 0.01. That might give it a really nice ambience. And we are pretty much done with this scene. Let's render it. All I wanna do now here on the plane is get in a color ramp so we can kind of play with the roughness on that ground plane because it's kind of boring. We'll get in a classic Musgrave situation. So we'll plug that there and then we'll dimension zero, detail up, scale 0 0.3 and then we can bring the roughness kind of closer to the white. And now we have something super cool. I just want to make sure this is bright enough, maybe like 85 on the brightness. Eh, we'll go 50. And now let's go ahead and render this guy and composite it. All right, so while this is rendering, if you want to get the project files from this render and the PlayStation render, except for, of course, the PlayStation logos and Xbox logos, I don't own those. You can actually get that on my Patreon for just $2 on tier one, which also comes with 10 procedural materials a month, or you can go to tier two and three, where I give exclusive tutorials, I show my client work, you get all the live streams and stuff like that. So if you want to check all that out, that is linked in the description. Now let's composite this guy. So here he is. I do want to get in a glare node to really make this cool. And then this is going to be a little bit much. So we're going to go here to fog glow and bring that mix down. So this is the finished piece here. We'll head over here. And this is what we have for the Xbox render. Again, you can grab that on Patreon if you want. Let's head on over to the PlayStation logo. All right. So for this one, the plan is to go super simple. A lot of times when I'm doing client work or professional work, the simple design, the simple solution is usually the answer. So I'm just going to go with something that's simple, but striking and memorable. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this guy and then we're gonna move him to the back all right so this is sort of the aspect ratio we're working with I'm gonna go ahead and make him emissive just like the other logo I'm gonna go kind of eyeball the PlayStation blue and make it nice and bright and that's way too much but that's all right we're we're gonna be using cycles and not Eevee so cycles here again we're going with simplicity so really we're just gonna use this ground plane to really make it beautiful and memorable and then we're gonna add some ambience in it as well so I'm gonna go ahead and start shading that we're gonna get a new one here C O L we're gonna get that color ramp of course and we're gonna use a noise texture to really make a nice um, roughness pattern here so we're going real quick today so let's go ahead get that detail in bring that roughness in bring the scale down to something so we're going to bring that scale down to something like this and now we're starting to get something super super cool and now this ground plane we're going to actually make the base color super dark because we don't want this reflection to be brighter than the actual logo and that's one way to do that so we really, and it's nice is we can have some fully reflective parts and some fully rough parts so we can bring this in to accentuate the roughness there. And so we can just bring this in and get something super, super cool. Maybe bring that just above so it's not perfectly mirrored. And then last thing I wanna do is of course, get some of that ambience. We're gonna go here and get that principled volume. Now here you go, again, super quick, super simple, but it's memorable, you can use it for an iPhone wallpaper, load screen, logo animation, there's a hundred things you can do with just this simple design. You can even use it as a template for your own logo. Again, you can go grab that on Patreon if you want. And that is it, if you guys liked this series, I'm gonna do another one. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.